I've uh, just been through some of my uh, junk boxes and uh, I found this. This is a, a pickup arm of a, uh, an old, I think it was a, probably a Garrard record deck. I, I can't remember. But that's been in my junk box for <laughs> uh, 20 or 30 years uh, at least. And it's a real treasure because it's got these beautiful bearings in it and uh, it's got this... Uh, um, a lovely mechanism. I'll get a close up. So it's uh, it's got this gimbal here, and then uh, it's got a, a lovely little set of uh, bearings down uh, down there. A little ball race in there, and then at the other end of the shaft, uh, it's got a, a corresponding ball race at that end. I won't use any of the plastic parts as. Um, uh, I don't like plastic very much. Uh, I don't like the fact that it uh, uh, it fails. Um, so I, I won't uh, I won't use any plastic bits. I know the uh, solenoid coil uh, has got a plastic uh, former, but uh, none of the sort of I'll say active parts uh, will be made out of plastic. Uh, just opening up this uh, gimbal, uh, it's got this. Uh, little bearing part on either side. I've got the sun streaming in here and I can't really see the back of the camera at all. Uh, but that goes into there and if you look at that you'll see uh, it's got a little set of uh, bearings uh, either side. Uh, what's that? Five bearings in there. And uh, So uh, this is the bit that I shall use uh, for the, uh, the pendulum. Um, uh, that's uh, that's a, a real joy. Uh, uh, again, it's it's, um, it's treasure that I didn't throw away. I've hung on to it for years and years and years. So again, uh, really nice to be uh, putting that to good use. There you see, I said it would come in useful. Almost certainly what I'll do is uh, cut this back end off because I don't want that. And then uh, this can go into a baseboard and then my, uh, my pendulum can... Uh, go something like that uh, in there somehow um, and uh, I may even uh, use these uh, little uh, holes there to allow the pendulum to swing in the other direction so as it uh, self centers um, yeah so uh, uh, all good reason for keeping a, a junk box I won't take these little bits off yeah, and this uh, looks as though it screws in. I could take that off if I disassemble this, but I won't do that yet because uh, you never know that uh, th that just might come in useful to uh, actually drive the mechanism. I say I'm not working to a plan. I'm uh, I'm working to uh, uh, the menu that I find in the junk box. Uh, if I haven't got it in the cupboard, I won't be using it. But just because I've got this, if you were making or uh, following the project, um, you've seen it'll it'll work with a cop hook. So there's nothing magic. This is just um, this is the icing on the cake. This just happens to be uh, a useful find, um, and it just means it'll save a, a bit of battery power. That's all. I still haven't finalised the uh, design in any way, but as I say, I've got this little mechanism off the pickup arm. I've drilled an 11mm hole in an off -cut, cut of wood that I've got and I'll probably fix that with a, uh, a bolt in through the side um, and I will cut off that uh, shaft at the back but uh, what I've done is um, just trimmed the end off a, again another off cut um, you show you that this one in actual fact you can see it's uh, it's not running through at all so that's a, it's just a bit of old rubbish but um, when I put that into there I just press that in and uh, I just thought this was uh, really quite interesting um, you can see down there that is um, just swinging away so easily on that bearing mechanism Sorry, it's probably all out of focus. Um, uh, that looks uh, as though it's uh, streets ahead of anything else I was going to come up with. 
but uh, anyway that's just uh, updating you there so I say this again it's not a finalized design I like the idea of having it offset as uh, my clock mechanism will probably go somewhere like that remember I've just got to pick up uh, that little wheel there um, and then uh, I may put my uh, my magnet uh, above or below that so it isn't going to look like a clock you've seen before um, but that's not what I'm setting out to do it's uh, this is individual by the way just in case you think I'm completely scatty um, when as I was going through my junk box there's uh, a few bits and pieces that I found um, for, uh, related to machines that I've made uh, for people and this was uh, a project for soldering um, battery terminals uh, onto the lead so again a mass production thing um, probably a couple of different pipes in there so I often had samples uh, left over from different jobs so that's um, oh, I got that that's the, uh, the bellows barometric bellows and uh, I made equipment for soldering the two halves of these I've got a bunch of them joined together here I was playing with um, and that's done under vacuum and I made uh, special purpose equipment for soldering those uh, using electromagnetic energy um, and they're used in uh, ejector seats and barometers uh, so if you're an aviator that's um, there's my timer if you're an aviator that's uh, had your life saved uh, with an ejector seat um, it, uh, it could have been something I had something to do with oh that was um, uh, that's a, a high temperature valve head and I was uh, annealing the joint between those two but I also made equipment for hardening valve stems um, so there's all sorts of stuff um, but I, I was actually looking for a thick piece of aluminium <laughs> which, which I couldn't thought but I just thought I'd, I would share those with you and that's uh, another type of uh, battery terminal and always was a good source of um, materials that's the inner race of a ball race uh, I made equipment for heat shrink fitting ball races if you wonder how the ball bearings are fitted in a uh, in a ball race uh, the outer ring is uh, heated and uh, it expands and uh, the balls are nested up around it and they drop in and then when it cools down it uh, it holds them firmly don't get it so hot as to damage the uh, metallurgy anyway I just thought I'd share that uh, that with you uh, now if I remember what I was doing oh look that's a little crank I made for a sterling engine so forgive me for getting uh, distracted I'm sorry about that but I did tell you I, I get easily distracted right I've got loads of material so I think I'm going to be making a lot of individual um, videos and um, uh, so I, if it gets boring I guess nobody's <laughs> forcing anybody to watch this but uh, uh, say so I uh, hope you can hope you continue to find it interesting guys thanks for watching bye bye